to actually confront that friend and say, I'm concerned about you, I love you, I'm worried about your health, usually they will deny it, particularly anorexics are very much in denial, or they'll say, I ate something today, which might include a carrot, is all. But in their mind, if they ate, they don't have the disease. So, And there are many cheer squads and drill teams and dance squads where it is a huge is issue, where they're together, they're doing it all together. I mean, there's bulimia clubs out there. So there has to be somebody that can come in and say, I love you, I'm worried about you, can we get some help? And that is what I tell girls. First do that before you go to the coach. See if you can get a response. Then going to the coach or the parent or some adult in that in that um, teen's life is going to be very important. And they will say over and over, but they'll hate me and they'll, they'll, I'll lose them as a friend. I said, I'd rather lose them as a friend than have them lose their life because this is something where their heart can stop. And, you know, many a time people do die of an eating disorder. Um, can you provide some information of agencies that could help or even perhaps your website address? Or phone it, number? Sure, definitely. Uh, Ramuda Ranch has got the highest success rate in the world. And um, they have clinics in Arizona and they have a new one in Virginia. But they have a 1 800 number that you can call mm -hmm. uh, for Ramuda Ranch and they will give you the best eating disorder counselors in every city that they know of. So, and they have a website in RamudaRanch.com, I believe. But that 1 800 number I have utilized over and over. Okay, and your website address it is uh, like GinaGadat.com. Yeah, www.GinaGadat.com. Um, you'll find more information on there as well. Um, you know, also, I noticed that um, younger and younger, there's regular diseases that are normal for adults, such as heart attacks, high blood pressure, and diabetes. Um, what's happening to our young girls in reference to those issues? Well, obesity, the teen obesity, we're seeing diabetes down in the elementary school. And I have a friend who is a school nurse for an entire district, a school district, and she said it, it is out of control. The kids have to come in for their insulin in fourth grade. And why do you think it's reached down to our lower uh, level children, you know, our, our younger children. It's the nutrition. It's what we're feeding our kids. It's our the way our lifestyle is. We're fast food driven, uh, junk food driven, and then the lack of exercise. And they're they're even pulling PE out of the schools. I don't know if you heard yeah, in the news the legislature mm -hmm, issue. With, Share a little bit about again, that. It's very interesting. With our economy, with our education, things are going to be. We're going to see more programs being cut, and PE will likely be something that could be cut and all. Also, we're seeing after-school sports, particularly in the middle schools. We're going to be seeing them starting to be scaled down, if not completely removed in some school districts, which is really a shame because it keeps those kids uh, busy, for one, after school, and it keeps them active. And for some, that's the only reason why they go to school is because they love the sports. And, of course, the inactivity, just the alternative is coming home and watching TV and playing Xbox. Mm -hmm. So we may see that affecting the, the diabetes as well. Okay, so it's actually the inactivity is affecting our youth. Oh, in, yes. In a devastating way. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, a typical MO of a girl that has an eating disorder, what would that be? in about a minute or less, so um, that we can have a heads up. Okay. Type A personality, usually a four-point student coming from a um, predominant family or professional family, well-educated, uh, high expectations of themselves, very involved in school, in, in many different clubs usually. And those are the girls that we see with anorexia. Uh, bulimia, a little bit more tendency towards depression. You know, it, you mentioned anorexia, and you mentioned type A. Um, can you share a little bit about that? That's a real strong personality type, from my from my understanding. They They're really the, driven. The school leaders. They're the ones that want to be perfect, including their body to be perfect. So it just goes right along with that. Yeah. Okay. Another health issue, quickly, if I can interject it. You said adult issues that are affecting kids. Mm. Um, I just read that 3,000 uh, teenagers per day are starting to smoke. Which what it relates to is that this generation, there will be 5 million uh, children that will d die um, early. And so they won't have that full lifespan that we would have expected because of their smoking and how early it started. So to me, that is a huge, a huge issue for the future. Okay. In 30 seconds or less, share with us what you think are the most important points concerning health in teenage girls. 
Um, Just briefly. Fostering their self-esteem, being involved as a parent, watching them, asking questions, giving them a lot of positive feedback so that they know that they're unconditionally loved, and then trying to be the best example we can be as a parent, which I know is, is very hard for us, too. <laughs> Gina, we really appreciate you taking the time out for the show. I'm Marcel Camille, and this was your public report. We have uh, talked about the movie, The Cross, and now the movie is done. So what we're asking for is it costs about $3,000 to get an entire print made. So any of those...